man, my shiny rainbows, we're here, we're doing it. We're going to another episode of The Sims 4 in the Frost family. Last few episodes, you know, we've been kind of stuck in a rut, living with Pearl and Tevin in Ernest's household and discovered that Ernest doesn't even like children. So how is somebody who doesn't like children going to be able to grow up to proper kids on his own? So, good old sister Ru, Kaleo, came on over to kind of come up with some ideas of, like, you know, moving some people in. So, I tested out some mods to kind of see how we can kind of play this out and have some fun. So, this episode's not really going to be a lot of storytelling. Maybe they will. I don't know. We'll see how we play through. But I do kind of want to investigate and go into some of the lots areas here. As you can see, we're in Brittleton Bay. That's kind of where we started a lot of the stuff because when I first started playing this game, we got this latest pack, Cats and Dogs. I obviously don't have a lot of the packs, but we're going to be changing that soon. I'm going to be buying some new stuff and just kind of decide how we're going to play it into the storyline to see what is going to work the best for us. But needless to say, we got our little Frost family here in a 30 by 20. And where was it? This is where we... Where did we... There we go, up here, 30 by 20 as well. That's our main cottage. So we're just gonna kind of pop over here for a second. I just wanna see what the um, place looks like. So what I would like to do, we're gonna talk about it very soon. I just wanna kind of guesstimate because I want it to kind of be like a back to where all things started. Oh, it's so cute. Love the music. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's stay paused, please. We also, one thing too that's fine for now. Oh, I totally remember this place now. Yeah, so we didn't have any money and we had to like build all of our beds. Oh, yes, all of our beds. Lane Frost was there. Cleo was here. I guess Tevin was there. No, Ernest was there. Did we even have a place for Tevin? I guess not, did we? Tevin obviously used this one. Aw, we had the we had there were so many of us and none of it not even enough. But anyways, so I didn't really get to pick out a lot of aspirations. And when we first started playing Sims, I'm learning, you know. I haven't played Sims since like Sims 2. Or even maybe yeah, I think Sims 2. So, you know, this is our beautiful little house. We're just oh I like you know what? Actually I really like this place. How much can we build though? That's the problem. I like what property we're on. The property's cute. So my kind of concept even though the house is super adorable as well. So that becomes a challenge as well. Because the house is uber cute, I was kind of wanting to like move ourselves. You know, maybe that's what I should do. I move ourselves in into like a little corner. What I wanted to do was build a little a little section. Um, I did get a mod. This is what I want to plan on doing. Like one thing I noticed in my own Sims game is that um, when playing, I kind of miss some of my characters that when we move up and grow up, I'm like, oh my god, but my mother, my grandmother, my cousin, my aunt, my uncle. So, one mod that I got, which I thought was a lot of fun, had to do with um, the roommates. And I know you get roommates in university, which I don't have, and I'm not really sure the functionality of it, if it works the same. I don't know, maybe it does. Someone can let me know in the comments. That'd be amazing. But I got a mod called roommates and it allows you to essentially as long as you have enough beds which clearly we do we can move on in so i think what might be a good idea is i can move um what was it cleo miss cleo here boom boom cleo frost you out of invited well let's look at their ages that's another thing i have to look at is the ages ages i'm worrying about too because it's hard to know. Like, like I, I think I'll, I'm playing it because eventually we're going to have multiple families. So it's like hard to say, like, how are we going to move this along and how are we going to play and how are we going to decide um, aging up and stuff. So that I'm playing around with. But so if I have to randomly age up townies and randomly age up myself, that's what's going to happen. But like how sad, just, just looking at this right now, how sad is the house we grew up in it has a picture of a sad clown. 
Like, that is so sad. So what I might do is we are going to clean up this house a bit, slowly and surely. Because we don't got no more young children anymore. So we can just... We're going to put stuff in the inventory, because, you know, we're not got a lot of money. So we don't want to be worrying too much about things. I like this little room, though. Heaven can stay there. And this is going to be the main girl's room, which is Mama. So I think what I might do is do my little roommate cheat. And it's going to bring me into this house. And we are going to kind of play in this house as good old um, Pearl and Cleo. They're going to kind of be good, like, sisters. And we're going to have um, Heaven staying with Ernest, and that's going to be kind of like our little sad house. And, you know, Miss, um, this lovely lot here is going to be kind of our generation's lot, where we're going to kind of start here. There's going to be our house, and we're going to try to see if we can grow up and earn lots of monies and kind of like gradually alter the house. I'm not very good at building, so, you know, bear with me. And so I make the house a lot bigger and better and more powerful and dominating and beautiful so that we can like grow up the ages with Cleo and our lovely Pearl. Pearl's gonna be our main character of course and Ernest is gonna be kind of the main character on the other game that we're gonna have to worry about but you know this is gonna be like kind of I guess you could call it the Frost Sisters venturing out into our new little platform here which i'm excited for so what i'm gonna do is show you how i do this and i've been practicing and making it work so let's hope that it still works for me oh that's not what i want save and go to manage worlds let's hope it still works because we've been i've been testing it a lot on my other game so this is our lovely house so we are going to where is it Click on this house. We are going to... I almost want to, like, bulldoze the house, to be honest. I want to really start from nothing. Uh, no, I'll go into the house, play an episode or two, and then I'll probably make some thoughts. And I might alter the house to be, like, just w really small. Kind of play with our tiny living. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to edit. And we are going to... Evict the household. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, that's 34,000. That's a lot. I don't know if that was a smart idea. I might have to do some stuff. So we're going to go to you. Miss Pearl. We're going to go into Pearl. Pearl's going to say her goodbyes. Good old Pearl. Pearl's up here Monday afternoon. She's having a little dance party. Why? Because she's getting out of town. She's getting out of here. All these people aging up to adults, which is probably a lot to do with all the adjustments I've done in my game to kind of test this out. Because, like, where's Pearl? What is she? Pearl Frost is a teen, right? And she has... You know, 30 days. Ah, uh, where's Tevin? Oh, now you're having a nap. Okay, have your nap. Have your nap. Tevin, 21 days until he's a teen, which is fine, because then it gives you time to do aspirations and play like two households. But Miss Tam, Tevin, I'm sorry. Ernie J is out of the house. Oh, I'm so stinky. Oh, you're so stinky. Let's have a shower before we do this. Take a shower. Oh, you're not... A lot of stuff going in. And then you're going to give your little bro a hug. You're going to annoy him one last time. Because, you know, brothers and sisters, they always poke fun. And we're going to complain about parents, because, of course, complain about your problems. Because you're basically going to be moving out. You're basically moving out. And when does you come home? Okay, we got lots of time. Okay, good. I was like, uh... We got lots of time to say goodbye. Goodbye to this tiny little house that we got online. Because that's what I do. I'm not big on building. I like building. I think it's fun. But I'm learning. So to make houses for myself 
is not really gonna do us any good, but, um... Oh my god, that's a long shower there, Pearl. A long shower. We're trying to say goodbye! We're saying goodbye to our brother! Okay? Saying goodbye! See, she's complaining. She's saying, I'm sorry, but I have to go. Sorry that I have to go. And he's not too happy about it. I'm sorry, Tevin. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. We are going to go to Cleo and send her a little text to say we are on our way. And let her know that we've said our goodbyes. We made sure that um, Ernest isn't home. Tevin, you'll be fine, my dear friend. You'll be fine. You're going to grow up. I got plans for you, Tevin. I do. Woo. I got the plans. You're really going around to the very back to hide. You're like, I don't want nobody to know what's going on. I want no one to know what's going on. Because you say goodbye to Cleo, you say goodbye to the house, and that is it for this little family right now. Folks, things be happening, you guys, things be happening. Okay, let's see how I can make this work now. Oh, I keep going to the wrong button. I want to go into here, and I want to... Manage household transfer. I would like to create a new household with you. Let's go actually in here. Manage these households. This is how I'm going to have money, I think. This is how it's going to work. Yes. Okay. So we're going to transfer you. Create a new household. Cleo Frost, yes! And we're going to transfer. How do we want to do this? We had 16000 And we had like $600. We really want to have no money at all. Because we're going to kind of be like a sort of rags to riches kind of idea, right? So let's just start off with literally... $500? No, we're going to do zero, I guess. So we have everything in the house. No, because I'm not going to be able to buy it. So we're going to literally need to send all the money. Because we need to buy what's in there. Because like a mini rags to riches. Because really, the house was already there by the mama. So we're just inheriting the house. And eventually we are going to destroy it all. And start from scratch. So we're going to do that. Let's transfer all that money so we can buy the house. Perfect. And then we're going to do this, transfer, Crittleton Bay. Oh, there we go. You're bringing no money from you. Oh, this is so exciting. I got to figure out how I'm going to take screen. Yes. Okay. Now... We're going to take you guys and we're going to move into our lot, which is right here. 34000 and we have remaining funds for this 3000 which we will eventually get rid of. But we're going to keep that for an episode or two, okay guys? We're going to keep that for an episode or two. I'm excited to get this new little journey. This new little journey, the Frost the Stars. In waterside footage. But we're not done. So they're both very unhappy right now. Let's just pause that for a second. Look how unhappy they are. Because, like, come on, how would you? How could you be happy? When you are living back. I know you trust your sister, Cleo. I know you do. How old are you, anyway? 10 out of 8. I know you trust her. I know you do. And you're gorgeous. You got the nose. You got the nose of the Ernest family. You got a little bit luckier. 
and now you trust each other, so that's exciting. You're gonna have lots to do in this little house, you know, lots to do. But we're gonna be kind of backing forth with tricks and cheats because I'm gonna tell you why. Because what's gonna happen is with this roommate agreement, it basically gives you $500 from each household member every Friday, which is only good to do if you have a big lot and like, because you have to build them a, their own house. But I'm going to let them live in this house with us. So that $500 I ain't going to be using. I ain't going to be using that money because that's just kind of too much cheating. But that's okay. You are so tired. You are so tired. I got to figure out whose rooms and who's what. But basically, I'm going to also have to buy you. I got, actually, you know what? This is what we need to do. We need to kind of switch these rooms up a bit. This one's all really foo-foo, and this one's all manly, which really is just going to be... We can get rid of this. So don't mind the money that we have right now. Don't mind the money at all. Because we're going to be getting rid of a lot of it. I will stop. I'll just figure it out. Copy you. Are you. Control shifts. BB dot move objects. Ah. Hey, okay, you gonna let me do the way I wanna do it now? Well go shrink you one more. Perfect. Look at that, eh? It's it's slowly coming together. Cause basically you need to have a bed for every room in the house. So of course Mama Bear is gonna be there even though we don't like her. And we got our two sisters, Cleo and um Pearl, who we're controlling, and then we're going to have Lane and Mama Bear. But the idea of this is that Cleo has told us that it's okay, come back home. I'm older now. I can take care of everybody. We're going to kind of start this together as a family. We're not going to worry too much about Mama. She's going to be in the picture, but she's kind of losing her brain, her marbles. She doesn't really remember who she is. So that is okay for me. So, we have to get ourselves ready. You do not get to go into a bed. This one is your bed. Assign bed to Pearl. Assign bed to Cleo. Then we are also, poor Tevin. I'm sorry, Tevin, I'm sorry. You'll be okay, I promise. Sim flag, MC population. I gotta figure this one out. Because there's one where it is. Flag. Oh, how do I do that? Flag to never call. Flag to freeze modus. Flag to freeze kills. I want to mark or move in. No. I don't want to do that. We can figure this out. Come on now. Flags, not fifty springs. Press it. Ah. And. There was literally one I know that you're supposed to do for... I'll have to even figure out what I did. Because there's one that you have to do that basically freezes them from moving. Like being moved in.
And then that allows you... I don't want to move in. I want to flag them for not moving. So that's what's confusing. That's okay. So Cleo is now going to do her little roommate thing. They're talking. <laughs> Getting her into a better mood, of course. Oh, hello. Who are you? Let's go say hello to you. I mean, redhead versus redhead. I think that's some calls for some cute babas. So let's go say hello. And then Pearl, you are tired. You're going to bed. Go to bed, Pearl. You're tired. You got school in the morning and you probably have to do your homework. You got lots of books you took with you. <laughs> You took lots of stuff with you. You gonna chat? Have some fun or what? Fun. Get to know this guy. He just randomly popped on a lot. You're gonna figure him out. And we gotta decide if he's single or not. Let's see. What is he doing? Yeah, he's single. Okay, Quentin. No, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna invite you in. This has turned into a good little little lot of fun at the end of all this craziness. Pearl. Going to bed, but this one is like, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to our phone. I know I told you guys I was gonna figure this out for you, but we haven't done it yet. We're gonna go to the LMS room service. We're gonna call them. Yeah, this is my house, Quentin. You have cute boots. This is where we live. Don't mind us. We're just house sitting with Mama. Okay, so room service is these two. Boom. They're gonna be coming on in. And then that way, they're gonna play in the house with us. They're gonna be around, but we don't have to control them. You know, not that we couldn't do that either, and we could probably just have them there. And do their own thing, but the concept is I don't really want to have to control them and tell them what to do. Oh my god, you guys are sitting in there while she's sleeping. Aw, poor Pearl. I can probably get rid of these two, actually. Can this bunny be a different color? Uh, let's undo what I just did. I'm gonna lighten up the space, you know? We're gonna be sharing a room together. So, but you're gonna serve. Let's have some dinner. Let's call to me. Quentin. Eventually, how it should work, they should show up on the house. And we gotta go like this and set as front door. This is already the front door. Perfect. And see what you can do too. You can create. The whole point is eventually what we're gonna do is like build a house. And then we're gonna like have this little house off to the side where they're gonna live in, you know? But that is not happening quite yet. Pretty okay. got lots of little pictures. Lots of cute pictures in this house. Actually. Yeah. There we go. They're having a nice little conversation, a nice little meal. Talking about the food. Because, you know, this is going to be good. We're going to get a nice little relationship. I like where it is going. He's a young adult. <laughs> Oh, you know what? And that's another thing, too, is I don't really want to take in the money that Angelique and, uh, oh, there she is. There's Mama Bear. That Angelique and, um, Lane is going to bring in. But look at that. They're here. They're now in our house, because this is really the only house there is. So next thing we do, we click assign bed to Angelique. And then we assign bed to Lane. They're going to pay us each $500 every Friday, which whatever, that's okay. But now they're in our house. They're living with us. 
they're making the dreams and stuff happen, which is fine. They're going to kind of talk and communicate, as you can see, on their own. I need to figure out and remember how to mark them properly. I want to do a Sims flag. What's Sims command? But I just can't remember. I thought it would make sense it was in the population, but obviously it's not. So we're just going to close this. She has 23 days. Oh, no. She's going to die soon. Sorry. How old are you? You are 11 out of... Young How old are you? 19 out of 80. Perfect. So I might change young adult down to 60, but I'm just not quite sure yet. Because really my thought process is if you're playing, let's like, say, two households or three households, you want to have, like, say, if they're living for, like, 25 years, you want to want to double it a bit because you're going to be bouncing back between houses and playing a couple of this. Because, like, right now as we're playing, Ernest is doing stuff. Heaven is doing stuff. So, you know. It is happening. And we're going to be adding a little bit more features in the game. Like, we do have, um, op. <laughs> Cleo's just out there doing her swing. We do have some more features we're going to be putting into the game. Like, different traits. Stefan, we're bringing that trait to you, don't you worry. So, it's going to be really interesting how we kind of partake. But... This series has transferred so much, and a lot of it has to do with just learning and kind of figuring out how I want to play this game. We started out with um, the whole family here with Angelique, my beautiful Angelique, having her children. Her children? And then, um, like, let's go in here. Angelique marrying Broderick, having the children, and then she ended up having... One child with Joseph Langoria, which is Tevin. If you look here, her kids. First it was Lane, then it was Ernest. Well, I don't even know really how it does, because he's, I guess they just do boy to girl. I don't remember who's the oldest, but she had five kids. So Angelique's genealogy is great. But we all hated how Mama treated us, because Mama is a pro. Did it show it? No, it'll probably show it down here. If you look at our relationships, Mama is a esports gamer she's a good gamer so she's kind of cared more about her career than she cared about us so people moved out people split out but fortunately cleo has decided to take pearl poor pearl she's so exhausted because she's so unhappy back into the frost family because this is like the originals while the boys ernest and tevin are still going to do what they do so it's going to split ourselves up. We're not going to be the Sister Frost and the Bro Frost. Two lovely little series are both going to take different kind of events. So in here, we're going to be doing a little bit more rags to riches. Right now, of course, we be rich. But that's going to change, you know, in a few episodes as we can slowly kind of alter what's going on. I just want to see how it's going to play out, how it's the bills are gonna be like four hundred and eighteen dollars. So we have to figure out a way to make four hundred and eighteen dollars a day. And every single time we get money from them, we're gonna have to take it out. Because we don't wanna keep that money. So that is gonna be it in the wonderful Frost family. The new sisters with their roommates Lane and Angelique chesting out a lovely little um mod that I have, which I think is great, by the way. So we'll see what happens. We met Quentin, young adult. Pearl's sleeping there because she's such a cute teen. And we got Cleo. We got our mama bear. And we got our bro. We're going to see how things play off. But for now, that is all that's going to happen in the Frost family. Until next time, my shiny rainbows. Ernie J's out of here for now. Bye. Bye.